Okay, quick video to share a problem I had with the furnace on my uh, Pacero 38P. Um, this furnace is the front furnace, and uh, I was like, having a heck of a time. It would light, but it just, the, I could hold my hand right here. Um, it would never really get hot, and it would light. Sometimes it wouldn't light, sometimes it would flame out, and it would light and then relight. Um, so, ran through a whole bunch of things. I had some mud daubers in. Uh, inside hopefully this wind won't kill the video here I had some mud daubers inside I'm gonna go inside to get rid of the wind which I'm sure is messing up the audio uh, I had mud daubers inside the uh, the pipe and I was convinced that that was the problem but uh, the problem was not with the mud daubers I had actually dismantled the furnace completely removed it from the RV twice uh, convinced that it was the uh, uh, the mud daubers but that was not the case I also swapped uh, burners from one to the other long story short what wound up happening and how I discovered it was I would uh, light the uh, while the furnace was lighting I turned on my stove over here and uh, every time it would attempt to light the uh, the flame on the stove would just about go out and it would come back when it would stop trying to light and then go out again and I realized, hey, it's a flow problem. Um, not anything directly at the furnace. Lo and behold, after two years of fighting with this and uh, having it in for service and servicemen couldn't find it, the problem was how they assembled the slide. And over here, where they assembled the slide, there's a hose. Uh, try and focus in over here and put some light on it. And that hose would kink. Uh, you can see I actually have a, um, a gray bracket over there, a little gray um, hose holder. Where you see that hose, hose, hose holder, that's where that black bracket was. And then in the back, I'll try to get my camera in there. Uh, flashlight keeps going out. Apologize for this poor quality video, but hopefully this will help somebody. You can actually see some 2x4s that I stacked against the wall over there. Basically what it was is the hose that they put in here is too short for the uh, the slide movement. So I moved the bracket that it's bolted to on the back forward. And then I moved this other bracket back so that I now have enough hose. Uh, this is the um, the max length. So when I slide, pull the slide out, it, it actually gives all sorts of slack. But the problem was you can actually see just past that gray bracket where the hose was kinked. Uh, and it would just pinch the flow off. So uh, now that I've got that hose straightened out and pulled back, uh, I've got the flow I need, and the furnace is working just as it should. Um, nice and hot. The, the heat that was coming out of the furnace was cold. Uh, I'd hold my hand in front of it, and even while it, was, while it was burning, you could tell it just didn't sound right. And then the, the air coming out of the vents was just, it, 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 was, it was cold. Uh, not nearly enough heat was being generated, so... Uh, not a problem with the regulator on the tank, not a problem with the orifice. And I, I checked all that and finally I figured out that uh, this was the problem. So uh, especially on this 38 piece, and unfortunately I found some shoddy workmanship um, where they assembled this particular slide into the wall. Uh, must have had a novice didn't work, work in the line that day because this is the second problem. I also had an AC issue that was uh, the root of the problem was in that same area. So uh hope that helps for somebody that's uh that's got problems with their furnace um flow was the uh flow through the line was the reason the line was just getting pinched off all right